Good morning, y'all. I'm back to making desserts for Thanksgiving. I've got uh, three to, that I need to make today, and then tomorrow morning I'll get up and make the banana pudding because that's a last minute uh, sort of dessert because uh, I like to serve it when it's still a little warm. So anyhow, this morning I'm starting off making brownies. I know I've made a video on this before, but I just thought I'd do it again since uh, some of you may not have seen it. So I'm going to start off with uh, one and a fourth cups of self-rising flour. The nice thing about this recipe is you can stir it all by hand. Now I'm going to add two thirds a cup of cocoa and this is just your regular um, dark cocoa. And then I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. And two cups of sugar. And then I'm just going to stir all this together. These are just the dry ingredients. I'm just going to whisk them up right here so that it turns a nice light brown color. And then, um, then I'll, whisk, I'll stir in the wet ingredients after I get this mixed together. Okay, I've got those dry ingredients mixed together now. And it's, now it's time to stir in the wet ingredients, which is gonna be uh, two sticks of melted butter. I've already melted them in the microwave. So I'm just gonna pour that right in. And then one teaspoon of vanilla. And I think that butter was um, cooled off enough that I can go ahead now and stir in the three eggs. There's three eggs that go in here. If the butter was too hot, it might would cook the eggs and we don't want that to happen. So, stirring these in one at a time. There we go. Then I'm just gonna stir this up until it's all moistened. You don't have to do a lot of beating or anything. It's just hand stirring until it's uh, all moistened. And then I'm going to put it into uh, a nine by 13 pan. You can do it in a brownie pan if you've got a brownie pan, but I think for transporting this, it's just gonna be easier for me to put it in one of these disposable nine by 13 pans. I've already taken one here and sprayed it. Because these are a little bit flimsy, I'm gonna sit it on top of my uh, baking sheet before I put it in the oven. I've got my oven preheated to 350 and I'll be putting this in there in just a few minutes. So I'll get back with you after I bring them out. Hey y'all, I'm back. The brownies are done out of the oven and I'm gonna show you a little trick about how to cut them. Um, but first I wanted to announce our next winner of a recipe box. And I chose this one, not I didn't choose a number, even though it was actually number 41 of the responses. I chose it because I loved her response. And I, I want y'all to know I'm reading these things and I'm loving it. It's wonderful. Thank you for replying and filling out those sign-up forms. And again, if you don't know where that is, just go to my website 
athomewithgg.com and up in the top right corner there's a little place where you can click that's um, you know like a little drop down menu and just click on the sign up form and then answer those questions and uh, you'll be entered for the drawings so um, I wanted to read you what she wrote uh, she said and this and I agree with this it's one of my favorite memories of a food memory is licking the beaters I mean we there were several of us growing up well three that were right in the same age and we would kind of fight over who got to lick the bowl, who got to lick one beater, and who got to lick the other beater. So we loved that. Um, but um, the question where I asked, how did you find At Home with Gigi? Um, she said that she was looking for a pot roast recipe that she had thought she'd saved, but she couldn't find it. And she happened to stumble upon one that Gigi had posted, and it turned out so much better than she would ever have expected. So if y'all haven't gone out there and looked at my pot roast recipe, it is so easy and you do it in the crock pot and it's wonderful. So congratulations to da -da 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 -da, Jennifer Kolb from Grand Rapids, Michigan. She's the one who submitted this response and thank you so much, Jennifer, for your comments and your recipe box will be uh, shipping out to you uh, if I can get to the post office on Friday, I don't know, it's Black Friday, I'll probably be doing some shopping, but if not, definitely it'll be shipped out on Monday. So just wanted to let you know that. All right, so now let me show y'all about uh, cutting brownies. This is a little trick I learned and it works great. You know, sometimes when you're cutting brownies, they'll kind of stick to your knife or whatever you're cutting with, but if you'll use a plastic knife, they just cut straight through really good and uh, let me get it started here it's a little hard on this edge but they don't stick to the knife see as you go across i hope you can see this they just cut right through and it doesn't you know pull up all the the gooey in there uh, from the brownies so just want to let you know that these are the brownies they turned out great um they're going to be a little bit chewy and you know, I cooked them 30 minutes at 350 degrees. So anyhow, I'll be cooking a um, couple of other things later today, but uh, I gotta take a little walk with Bob right now. And then I'll be right back in the kitchen. I'll see y'all soon.